Well, let's talk about the sentence then. Um, when the sentence came out, th this, um, this is murder. She could get five to 99 years. They asked for 28, she got 10. How did you feel about the sentence? Well, this one shocked me. That did shock you? Yeah, this one shocked me, yeah. Never expected it to be so, so low, yes. I felt the same, it should have been about 25 or 28. We all know you go to the courthouse to get legal accountability. You don't go there to get justice. Mm -hmm. We refer to it as a justice system, but there's no justice <laughs> in the courthouse because the justice would be to have your son back. That's right. right. That's the only justice, right? right. To have your brother yeah. back. That's right. There's no justice in the courthouse. There's right. just some measure of accountability. There's no justice. But what would what would have been a, a fair accountability in y'all's thinking? I was expecting, I think I would have felt better if it was anything more than 15 years. I, I was expecting 15 years. So with the 10 year sentence, it, it was a shock. It, I felt hurt. I felt like I buried my brother all over again. Really? Yes. It is, it, it, you felt violated again? Yes. Uh -huh. Did you feel the same way? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. How about you? I expected more, and 25 was the number I had in my head. But when I consider, no matter what the sentence, it wouldn't bring my son back. So my aim is for her to reflect on her actions during the time that she spends in prison, no matter how long. And I'm even more comforted knowing that she's gonna be spending that time in solitary confinement which means that for 23 hours of the day, she will not be able to see the sunlight. Mm -hmm. So I also recognize that the decision was made by a jury of 12. So it is what they felt coming out of the facts of the case that was deserving of her. So I'm there's nothing I could do but to accept it. We have to address the elephant in the room. This is a white, blonde-haired, blue-eyed police officer, and both of them obviously is a, a black man. Did that play into this? I think it did. You think so? Yes. How so? Do you, do you think that she got a lighter sentence because of that? Had it been the other way around, right. what do you think would have happened? I think he would have gotten life. <laughs> I, and I think if it was the other way around, we wouldn't even have to wait so long for the trial because we've seen the injustice that takes place in America. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> I thought that the jury was made up of more women than men. So I believe we have that tendency as women to be more sympathetic, mm -hmm. especially to our own. She was a woman as well. So I believe the conviction for murder is one that took a lot of courage from the jury. But then the sentence um, seemed to have been, I'm just guessing that it was influenced by the women. So when the, when, the, when the verdict came back, guilty, mm -hmm. was this a moment of, of, of victory, of, of, of accountability? Relief. At least had been, someone had been held accountable? Uh, yes. yes, and that's how I, I felt, I felt satisfied that somebody, she has been convicted, and I was pleased with that. And I knew it was the outcome that both of them deserved mm -hmm. because he was innocent he wasn't doing any wrong he was violated so a conviction of murder is one that was deserving